Hey guys, welcome back to my, why do I look blown out? Okay, it is what it is. The weather, you guys, it's like storming, flooding, sunny, drizzling, everything, all of the above. Anyway, hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. I have been in need of doing just like a sit down chit chat video. Um, this is a video I have been meaning to film for you guys. I was debating on whether putting it on TikTok or YouTube, but I was like, you know what? YouTube fam, you deserve a video that's not sponsored. And it's also one of my most requested videos are brushes. So today I am sitting down and we're going to talk all about brushes because it is something that is so important when it comes to your makeup application. And you guys, I have thousands of brushes and I'm not kidding. I have thousands. A friend calls me and is like, hey, I need a dual ended brush that's great for cream and contour. And I'm going to tell them exactly which one I like. Those are the brushes that I'm showing you guys. So I figured we would just jump right into this. I'm sorry. I've been so bad about getting back into the swing of things when it comes to filming YouTube videos. I promise I'm trying so hard to get back into it. I have a five month old we just started sleep training him. So I apologize, but also like, thank you for supporting me and understanding like being a mom is my number one, but I miss you guys and I miss YouTube so much. So I'm here, I'm, I'm back. I'm gonna try to like do it. I still do like vlogs here and there, but I feel like so many of you guys are sick and tired of seeing me being a mom and you're like, where are the beauty videos? Where are the makeup tutorials? I get it. I need to like get back on my grind and I'm starting with this one today. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'm gonna have everything linked down below. Okay, I feel like we should just go in the order in which like we apply our makeup. That way we can stay on track and then I'll link everything down below. The brush that I've been using the most for prepping my skin, this is the brush I have been loving and I'll even use this with foundation as well sometimes. And this is a really good all over face brush in terms of liquids. This is a fantastic brush. I've had it for I want to say at least six years and I always go back to this in general very multi-use very multifunctional, which you will kind of see is the theme of brushes in this video and it does kind of like loosely apply it that's why I use more like lighter liquids with this whereas like if I was using like a Patrick Ta cream foundation I probably wouldn't use a brush like this I'd use something a little bit more denser just to kind of loosen up the product uh, so this I really like with just like liquid products like this. This is the Pat McGrath powder brush. This is meant to be for powder products. I have not used this to powder my whole face. I use this for foundations. The main way I like to do foundations or any kind of tinted moisturizer cream, I like to use something that's very fluffy and that will give me a very lightweight application. And this specifically I started using when I saw Mary Phillips use the underpainting method. And this is fabulous at just giving you that lightweight, thin, sheer layer. And I use this with my foundation specifically. I love using it with my Chantecaille uh, foundation. And, and it always looks so beautiful no matter what the product. Another really fantastic foundation brush that I absolutely love is the Pro Foundation Brush. Um, this is number 64 by Sephora Collection. Sephora Collection also is a really wonderful brand that has some amazing quality brushes. There, I can't tell you how many times I've bought in Sephora Collection brushes as gifts to people. This one is the Pro Foundation Brush and I love it because it has different types of bristles. This is not your traditional Kabuki dense foundation brush. This definitely with the looser bristles up top that sort of has sit a little higher than the actual like Kabuki part tend to move the product a lot more around the face. This way you're not getting that super dense brush. So like for instance, I have Here's a good example. This is a pro contour brush, which is good for packing color on. It's similar to a regular Kabuki brush, it's just more shorter, but there's a lot of foundation brushes like this. And for me, I love, like I said, a more sheer, more lightweight approach to foundation. And with that, I like using brushes that are a little bit more flexible and will move around the face rather than full coverage, pack it on. I have used this with the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and this just applies everything so beautifully. I personally don't like using this as my foundation brush. This is a fantastic cream contour brush. Like it always does a really great job at buffing products out really well, which is why I love using this with cream contour because I feel like with cream contour, we do wanna make that stark difference 
but at the same time we want it to still look somewhat normal and like natural and I feel like this just really blends everything into the skin very seamlessly. I love the size of it and the angulation of it is great too. Really get in there and then not only that like this little area and like even like your eye, your nose if you want to like use like right here and so it's just a really great versatile product like I said I love my jewel ended brushes I've been on a huge makeup by Mario brush kick I love his brushes so much this brush is fantastic so you can use this with foundation you get two basically like slanted angled kabuki brushes but one is very big as you can see it has a bigger face and this one has a little bit of a smaller face i love using this with like my drunk elephant bronzy drops or with my liquid super loaded product drops like that type of product i do also love using it with my soft sculpt transforming skin enhancer because of the two different sizes i just think it's really multifunctional and you don't think you'd need two different sizes like cream contour brushes but you kind of do for concealer i have two brushes that i am just ride or die for this one is the hourglass concealer brush i have about three of these and they work so good at buffing everything out it blends it out like a dream i love that i don't have to use my finger because sometimes i just get really weirded out with like getting that grimy like product build up on my fingertips it freaks me out. So I like using brushes for concealer and I have so many of these um, because I just, I love them. And when I love a brush, I buy many of them. I like how it's also angled. So you really get that nice precision. I don't know if you guys can see, but it does get flat on this side right here. And I like this because I can get right up to the side of my nose and figure out where the concealer ends and the contour on my nose starts. Do you know what I mean? And then also this is fantastic at um, taking concealer right down the nose if you use the flat side. It's just an overall really great concealer brush. They're just so reliable. Another brush I recently just got is a dual ended brush. I thought I would mention this one because this is sort of like a new found love that I have for a concealer brush. This is the Complexion Brush by Say. I don't really use this side a lot, but if you are somebody who is looking for a complexion brush that will be perfect for concealer and your contour, you don't wanna have so many. I don't mind having many brushes for different uses but if you're somebody who is more on the minimal side this is a really great option for you for the everyday if you're using like a revealer concealer from Kosas or a stretch concealer from Glossier or something that's like a, like a touche claw from YSL this brush is what you need it is basically it looks like just like a typical blending brush like eyeshadow blending brush it's a lot bigger and more dense shape of them are very similar this one just has a lot more bristles and that my friend is how you create an amazing concealer brush so i really do like this i think this would be a really great option like i said if you're a minimal girly and you just want a brush that you could take with you reliable the next brush i'm going to mention is the super popular hourglass dual brush uh, I don't know the name of this, but this was sold out for a long time. I've got about four of these brushes. I think they're amazing. I use them for different purposes. This side is also very great if you like doing the underpainting with the foundation brush, but I love using this as well as my bronzer brush. So I'll use powder bronzer with this. This hourglass brush is so good at giving you such an airbrush finish. So the way that my bronzer looks right now, I get it because of this brush I'm telling you. Of course the products that I use too, but just the application is super important with the way that things apply on the face and the way they layer and they sit on the face. This is also really great. I use this as like my go-to blush brush and it's so beautiful too when you look at it, it's so good. And I really love this just in general for powder products works right so now into my favorite which is my blush section so i have three brushes i had like six my favorite right now is the patrick ta four face number two brush is my favorite for blush so this side i use for cream it looks really dense right but when you actually use it it fans out and so it really gives you a nice application of color and it's not too much where it doesn't blend out the pigment enough I feel like it blends it out perfectly. I'll use this for a powder blush. You know, depending on the day, I, I switch between what goes on my face in terms of like my powder blush, but this is also really great. If you want a product that is great for both cream and powder blush, this is definitely for you. 
I love the way this applies. I believe I saw Kelly Ann use this on like one of her lives. She was using this for, with her cream, cream blush. And I was like, what is that brush? That looks so good. The way it was like buffing out and it still looked so natural, like I was sold. So I got it, I love it, it's so good. I would be lying and devastated if I did not mention this brush. So this is the NARS Yachio, I don't know what it's called. This is the NARS Kabuki brush. This is a brush that I saw Mary Phillips talk about. I had to know more about it. It's the only brush she uses when she does powder blush. I don't know if she uses this with cream, but I see this handle all the time and I'm like, what is that brush? And I knew it was NARS, but I couldn't figure out which size it was. I'll link the exact one I got back down below because there's like two, I think, and one's a lot bigger. You don't want that one. You want this one. And this brush, like, look at this. It's so fanned out. This brush is so soft. The way it applies is like watercolor. Let me just show you. This is the RMS Crystal Slipper Hydro Powder Blush, but I like using this on top of what I already have on. You just take this brush and you just go in circular motions. See how it's like getting more vibrant, but like in the most subtle way. And it just looks so airbrushed and like filter-esque. Like, I don't understand what, how, but this is my favorite. It's my favorite brush. I love blush, you guys know. It's like my favorite thing in the whole world is like blush, but like, look at how, do you see how it's applying it? It's adding more product, but it's going on. I don't even have the words for it. It looks so like, poof, just looks like a cloud of color. I get why Mary Phillips only uses this brush, it's the way it applies. I don't know if it's the hairs or the shape. It's probably everything of the above. Like why it looks like this, I don't know. Do you guys see this? Like I've never been prettier in my life without this brush. Like what have I been doing? As you guys know, I love using an under eye powder. Basically the only place I really will powder is like using a brush like this. So this is just really great uh, at applying powders. To me, I love this for under eyes. Like, see how it just like fits perfectly? If you wouldn't mind, I'm just gonna yell over my heater, but look at this. The way it applies, like you could pack it in and I use it with her airbrush balls filter. So it just works so well and it looks so good. Always just like on point. I love this powder but I also love this brush. I don't go anywhere without this brush. If I'm traveling, this brush is coming with me. It's just a really great powdering brush if you like minimal powder. For highlight, I do like using the Rare Beauty one. It's what I used today. It does light application. With highlight, you want it to go on diffused and it'll look very like lit from within and not very like patchy. The most I get with eyeshadows are really like my Merit solo shadows. Like I was using this Persona brush with it because this is good at like packing color on and then there's a blending brush on one side as well that's super great so this is like a really wonderful dual ended brush literally says apply and blend comes with me when i'm traveling this is a really great brush for like the everyday that minimal girl who just needs one eyeshadow brush like this is what you need and these are well one of them is for collection this is a pro crease 26 brush I have used this over and over again i've even used this to blend out my nose contour it can really get up in there and blend. Another really great option, more affordable, is the Morphe blending brushes. They have so many different sizes. I have a bunch of the M573s, and this is also a really great blending brush. With eyeshadow looks, it's all about the blending brush. I'm not saying that these are like the most amazing, but like I said, I don't really do eyeshadow looks. So this is like for basic, 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 just getting like a single good blending brush, whether or not you're just using it by putting like your blush or your bronzer in your crease. Like this is what you need, just a basic brush or something like this. Um, And yeah, you guys, that's pretty much it. I think I'm done. I'm winded, I'm exhausted. All right, you guys, I'm so exhausted. That was, <sighs> I just sat for an entire hour talking. I don't think I've ever done that, especially with a newborn baby. He's not newborn, he's five months old. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys like understanding. I have a list of videos I wanna start doing, so 
This is the first one. It's crossed off my list. It's been on my list for months. I'm glad it's out there. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.